let's take a look at a simple example of profiling a web app. We'll look at the Nerd Dinner demo app, and in this example, the problem is that the search has been reported as running slowly. So we want to get to the bottom of those performance problems. The issue could be in the .NET code, or the data access, or some problem with a third-party API. So you really want a good picture of what's going on across your application. Setup's really simple. Fire up the profiler, and we'll take a look at Nerd Dinner in Web Development Server. The defaults are all pretty sensible here. What we'll do is we'll pick a profiling mode that gives us reasonable detail and low overhead. There's a lightweight profiling mode at the bottom here based on sampling, and that's more appropriate for production type use cases. But for this example, we want as much information as possible. So we'll use the line and method level types. We'll leave the default performance counters, pick a browser, and then we'll just start profiling. The app starts up, and we can see performance information right away. Here there's uh, the initial spike as the app's starting up, and that's just as we'd expect. If we go back to the website and interact with it, we get performance information back quite quickly. So for example, if we go to the um, hosted dinner page, this has all of the login code. And when we go back to the profiler, we can see all of the web, web requests made by the app right here in the profiling results. In this case, we know the problems with the search. So to isolate that a bit and home in on, on that particular feature, we'll record a live bookmark. This is useful for keeping track of particular bits of functionality you're debugging while you're on the timeline. So we'll start a bookmark, and then we'll make a search on the site. Once we've done that, stop bookmarking. This lets us isolate the bookmarks on the timeline when we're looking at other information. OK, so we've got our performance data on the timeline here. And then there's the call tree showing all of the methods involved. There's a spike on the timeline. And in the tree, we've got this hot stack trace here, which shows us where most of the CPU time is being spent. Unsurprisingly, most of it comes from this HTTP request, um, which generated the search. Within that, there's a SQL query. And these are often a good place to start looking for performance issues in web apps. In fact, this query has 800 hits, which seems like an awful lot of times to run a query for a single search. We look up the stack. There's this method here, nerd dinner models, dinner repository, nearest dinners, which runs the query. And that also has 800 hits. It takes a pretty high percentage of the CPU time as well. So that looks like a good, pretty good place to start. The query could be inefficient, or we could be handling the data badly. It certainly seems strange to be hitting the database those 800 times for that single request. The best way to find out exactly what's going on is to look at the underlying code. And because we have line level timings, we can also see hit counts per, per line. Looking at the source of the parent shows us that the method retrieves the full list of all the recorded events from the database. And we can also see that for each record here, location filtering is being done in C sharp. And the hit count is in the hundreds of thousands. At this point, it's pretty clear that we could rewrite this code more efficiently. So we could use some more specific SQL to get a better result set from the database, or, um, or optimize the processing. So we've got some good candidates for optimization here. And we can go and take a look at that code, fix it up, and then rerun the profiling session to check that we've fixed that issue.